Hey there and welcome to day 12 where we're going to be going into how to discover your own core values and how many you can have of those and the best tricks that you can pretty much use to see if you were actually using your core values that week or if you can still kind of shortcut and recover yourself uh, somehow. So this is actually going to be really short because we're going to do a little exercise and in the link below and I'll post this in the Facebook group, you'll see this sheet. And I'm not sure if you can see it, but you'll see 120 common core values that I put down for you. And what you do is you print this sheet out or open it in Photoshop or whatever. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna put a timer on and in 15 minutes max, you're gonna get about you're gonna circle about 20 of those core values that you feel resonate the most with you after you're done take a minute or two to reflect about it then put your timer and don't skip the, uh, these steps put your timer on maybe pause the video right now do the exercise and then now come back and so right now what you're gonna do is put the timer on 10 minutes and cut it down to five and now you do exactly the same thing so you pause you come back now and now you put the timer on five minutes and you cut it down to three so as you might have noticed most of the things we do here in why not three is all about the number three can you have more core values of course you can I just found that with myself, three is easy to remember. And it's mostly, if you have three of them, it mostly kind of covers everything that the others cover as well, which you will notice. So try to start with a lot and then cut it down all the way to three, which will show you the most essential ones. For me, it's honesty, loyalty, and curiosity. Honesty, loyalty, and curiosity. Those are very hardcore values to keep. And here comes the hack. Of course, you can't always be honest. You can't always be loyal and you cannot always be curious. And that's where the silent day comes in. Every Sunday when I'm reflecting, I look at my core values and I, and I reflect about my week and I think, have I done everything according to my core values? If I wasn't completely honest, I can call someone up that day and say, hey, um, I, I feel that I wasn't completely honest uh, in full transparency, I want to say this, this, and this. Which shows the person that you did it out of your own initiative, which shows kind of the consistency of your core values. Which means they don't have to look or ask you questions because they know you will do it on your own. Which is a very valuable asset and it shows what kind of character you have. And that's where the silent day kind of comes in. It, it gives you that shortcut or hack to catch up with if you were consistent with and congruent with who you are. So that's that's the main hack. Just a second, let me check if I missed something. Um, yeah, so every six months I told you I update my vision board and I update um, pretty much everything. My, my vision board, I see my core values, if they're still the same, my goals, I update them long term and short term. So every week on the silent day, I reflect and I see if I have to adjust, but every six months I do a big change and I see if big changes have happened or not. Um, and for instance, if curiosity is not that much of a priority for me now and that I have to switch into something else. Usually it doesn't change that often, but it's always good that every six months you check again. So remember, really short, do the exercise for today then once you have the exercise and you have your core values make sure to reflect on them every silent day and then once you have done that make sure to every six months update the core values that you have and make sure that it's still the same that's it for today tomorrow i'll be traveling so you'll be on a vlog with me through the airports and everything i'll be traveling for a week to germany You'll be with me on obviously Thursday, so it'll be a little bit networking day. I'll be meeting up with some uh, friends. And uh, yeah, I'll, uh, I'm not going to give too much away. I'll see you tomorrow for day 13. Bye-bye.